Hi, it's Kerry. Today I'm talking about Indian animals. There are nearly 90,000 types of animals, including over 350 mammals and 1,200 bird species. Many of these are only found on the subcontinent. These include the Asian elephant, Bengal tiger, Asiatic lion, Indian rhinoceros, and several types of monkeys. There's also antelope, hyenas, jackals, wolves, and much more to see. The Asiatic lioness. Asiatic lions or Indian lions exist in India's Gia forest. Asiatic lions and African lions are subspecies of the same species. Asiatic lions once proud from the Middle East to India. Now only a fraction of these magnificent animals survive in the wild. The Gia forest is now a reserve where these big cats are heavily protected. Asiatic lions are a little smaller than the lions that live in Africa, but just as good at chasing prey. Asiatic lions are a little smaller than African lions. Their manes are shorter and less furry, and they have an extra crease of skin on their stomach. They live in dry deciduous forests, savannah and thorny forests. The rat. They have various medium-sized, long-tailed rodents. Love those teeth. In Indian tradition, rats are seen as the vehicle of Ganesha, and a rat statue is always found in a temple of Ganesh. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. I'll just pop them back and get some more animals to talk about. I'd really like to know what your favourite animal is today. Mine is that gower ball in the centre, the one with the horns. <laughs> the Himalayan tar is a relative of the wild goat and is especially adapted to life on the rugged mountain slopes of the Himalayas. It has a dense reddish to dark brown woolly coat with a thick undercoat keeping it warm in winter. In the spring, as the temperature rises, it loses much of its coat and becomes a lighter colour. The hooves are well adapted, making it an excellent climber. The macaque is a medium to large sized monkey with a stocky body. The body is covered with sleek black hair, except for its rump, which is a distinctive pink colour. Its face is long, with close-set brown eyes and prominent ridges down the side of the nose. The honey badger is the most fearless animal it can chase lions away from prey and attack killer beehives. It has long sharp claws for attack, defence and digging. It moves in a jog trot manner, much like a horse. And here's the honey badger female with her cub. Their very sharp teeth can easily break a tortoise shell. It is able to produce a stinky odour to keep predators away. It has a muscular body and strong legs with five toes on its feet. I like the bushy tail. It's about 12 inches or 30 centimetres long. I really like that Himalayan tar. Both the males and the females have horns. The horns of the Himalayan tar curve backwards and slightly inwards towards the body, which prevents serious injury and head-butting battles between males during the mating season. The cheetle or spotted deer, they are mainly found in the forests of India. It has a very good sense of smell and is able to smell predators as they approach. The red panda is about the size of a house cat, although their big bushy tail adds an additional 18 inches or 46 centimetres to them. The pandas wrap their ring tails around themselves to keep warm when resting. They live in the mountains of Nepal. They spend most of their lives in trees, including sleeping for safety. The gaur is an Indian bison. 
they have a reddish to brown coat. Both males and females have upwardly curved horns. The horns can reach 45 inches in length. They are usually green or yellow in colour with black tips like this one. Gars have deep hollow areas on the forehead and a ridge in between their horns. Large ears are another prominent feature on their head. Their diet consists of grass, leaves, shoots and fruit. One of my favourite Indian animals. Tigers and crocodiles are their main predators. The snow leopards live in the steep rocky mountains. To keep warm they have thick fur and their wide fur covered feet act as natural snowshoes. They use their long tail for balance and as a blanket to wrap around themselves when sleeping to keep warm. And here's the cub. In the summer months, the snow leopards hunt goats, sheep, birds, ibex and other small animals high up in the mountains. In the colder winter months, they migrate from the mountains to the lower forests. The pelican. They're found near the coastline and along lakes and riverways. They are social birds and typically travel in flocks, often strung out in a long line. They are also breed in groups called colonies. Very distinctive throat pouch there. These large birds use their elastic pouches to catch fish. Here's trouble. Thank you for watching my Indian animal video. It really helps if you can share any of my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.